Welcome to our tutorial about writing for the harp. The harp is a unique and versatile instrument that can add a special touch to any of your orchestral composition. In this video, we'll take a look at some of the techniques for orchestrating music for the harp and show you how you can use this instrument in your own compositions. Professional pedal harps have 47 strings and seven pedals. The red strings that you see here are C and the blue and black ones are F and they repeat in a pattern. When orchestrating for the harp, it's important to keep in mind the harp's range, playing technique and dynamics. It's also important to consider how the harp's unique sound complements other instruments in the orchestra. One technique used to incorporate the harp into orchestral music is to use it as a solo instrument, allowing it to take center stage and show off its gentle sound. For example, in this piece, In this example, the harp is playing the melody and the orchestra is playing the accompaniment. Another technique is to use the harp as part of the orchestra's rhythm section. The harp is being used like a motor, playing a repeating arpeggio, giving movement to the piece. One thing to remember when writing for the harp is that it's very resonant. Harp players have to actively dampen their strings with the palms of their hand. This means that fast repeated patterns don't really work as well as they might on other instruments. Instead, tied notes are normally used, and the slur mark on a note means to let it ring out and be resonant. Harpists are known for their use of special effects, like glissando. A glissando is a technique where a harpist slides their finger across multiple strings creating a beautiful sweeping sound. You may remember it from any scene in any film where someone has a dream or remembers the past. In general, the harp is a quiet instrument. Often it can't compete with the loud dynamics of the other instruments in the orchestra. Also, the bass notes are much quieter than the high notes. So if you want the harp to cut through a dense orchestration, write music that's in the higher register. So there you have it, some techniques for orchestrating music for the harp. Remember to keep in mind its sound and range and to consider how it can complement other instruments in your ensemble. With a little creativity and a bit of experimentation, you can create beautiful and memorable music. Thanks for watching. I'll do another short video about the bassoon next.